All right, guys, I did it again. Third flashlight build. I know, I'm, like, hopelessly addicted to flashlights right now. I hope you guys uh, bear with it. It's just, I'm really interested in it and just been doing a lot with it. So I know it's been a lot of videos, and hopefully we'll get back to it. Now that summer is here, get back to some uh, kind of survival gear vids. So I built this little guy. This is a uh, Convoy S2 Plus. The 18350 and uh, CR123 version, which is actually shorter than the regular S2 Plus. And uh, which we'll put a kind of comparison here to show you. For some people, the S2 and the S series are a little big to pocket. I think this uh, brings it down and makes it a little more manageable for people. Of course, my magnets are <laughs> wreaking havoc on me. So, what I did, and I did kind of a nice little, very low budget build. Um, less than $20 invested in this light. The uh, light itself I ended up getting for, I think, $8.99 from, I can't remember where, <laughs> uh, one of the sites. But if you do look up Convoy, I'll put a couple, I'll put a couple links in the description. Um, you can find these from like $7.99, sometimes up to like $13. So I, that was, I think, $8.99, $8.00, somewhere in that neighborhood. The driver cost me $2. It was actually a uh, kind of a cheapo driver from fasttech.com. It's a two mode and uh, direct drive. So it's got a direct drive and a low mode and that's it, nothing else, which is what I wanted. A very simple, simple flashlight. And then it has an XPL LED in there. And the XPL was maybe five bucks. And then you're looking at like a buck something for the magnet, buck something for the pocket clip. So you're talking, you know, less than $20 total invested. So it's kind of neat because this S2 Plus doesn't tail stand very well because it's got those cutouts. Now with the magnet, it actually tail stands very well. And it's got the pocket clip for deep pocket carry. And it's small, it's manageable, and it's a pretty bright little light for the money. So it's got a... Uh, that's kind of neat. It's actually, it's not pulsating like that in real life. It's just the way the uh, camera is picking it up. It's probably because it's got a cheap driver in it, but it actually looks good on paper. So it's got a low mode and a high mode. And bam, that high mode is bright. Because it's direct drive, it's running straight off the battery. Now I checked it with a multimeter and I'm getting about three and a half amps out of it which is pretty good so I'm guessing with the XPL it's probably you know between a thousand and twelve hundred lumens using an 18350 battery so found that uh, pretty good of course because it is kind of a throwy light it doesn't give you a uh, a very bright beam so it's really good for close-up work as opposed to uh, far away you can see I'll try and back that out that strobe effect is kind of interesting, but yeah. Yeah, it must just be from the cheap driver. So I like it because, number one, it's um, the low mode is low enough where I can use it in my car. I can use it in uh, places like that without blinding myself. But the high mode is ridiculously bright. You're talking like over a thousand lumens, so it's super bright for such a small package. Yes, I said small package. Um... So it's kind of that best of both worlds. It's bright like the full size, but also uh, has a nice low mode. It's not complicated. This is something if, if you know I'm using it and carrying it on a daily basis, I don't need to, oh, how do I get to that mode? How do I get to this mode? Double click, triple click, can't remember. No, it's very simple. It's on, high, you know, basically low, high mode. No troubles, no worries. They, of course, these convoys have really good build quality, so they're really good. This is a really good... Uh, little pocket rocket if you ask me so I really like this build I really had a fun time with it it was really interesting because the driver didn't come with uh, any wires or springs on it so I actually had to solder all that onto it myself so it made for a neat little project had to kind of go out of my comfort zone with soldering a little bit but overall I'm really kind of pleased with the result I'm really happy with it and you know if I don't like it I can always replace out that driver at a different point but for now I like it I think it uh, suits my needs for what I wanted for this little guy. It was a neat little project for under 20 bucks. 
And so I think the next plan, guys, is actually going to be is to build one of these in a video. These uh, convoys are really easy to build. It's like a Lego set. So I think maybe the next one I buy, I will uh, do the whole thing on camera because it really only takes a couple of minutes. It's just a couple of solders and that's it. So maybe we'll do a video, show you guys, and maybe a couple of you guys will catch the bug too.